Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Kiki Palmer's boyfriend Darius Dalton is under fire after he called Kiki out for the way she dressed at Usher's concert. Now, recently Kiki was enjoying herself at Usher's show in Vegas and this is a little off topic, but if you haven't gotten a chance to see Usher, please see Usher. I actually saw him not too long ago because I really, really wanted to see him. And I did a whole mini vlog about it on my TikTok page. So if you get a chance, check that out. But yeah, Usher can put on a show. And one thing Usher will do is serenade somebody's woman. When I went to the show, he was serenading Floyd Mayweather's girl right in front of him. And this show is no different. He was serenading Kiki Palmer and Kiki was getting her entire life. She looked like she was having a great time and it honestly seemed innocent. However, Kiki's man was not here for this at all and he did not hold back his feelings about it. He actually went on Twitter and said, it's the outfit though, you a mom. Now, when I first saw this tweet, I honestly thought he was playing. I was just considering the context of it and I thought, okay, he might be a little salty that Usher is singing to Kiki, but he's just joking, right? But I was wrong. He actually felt a way about it and he had more of an issue with what she was wearing. And I don't know if it was just me, but I didn't really see anything wrong with what she was wearing. I mean, considering the type of occasion it is, this is a grown and sexy concert in Vegas. So what she was wearing wasn't out of the norm and it wasn't like she was completely exposed, but Darius had an issue with it. And he said, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Someone said, absolutely nothing wrong with that, brother. You have always been an upstanding man and you already a great father. I would try to keep it off here though. People aren't rational here. He said, last tweet of the day for sure. That's for the real ones to understand. Now, I will say this. I think if Darius had an issue with what Kiki was wearing, he definitely could have talked to her privately about that and explained why he feels the way he feels because him going online and bringing up these issues is inappropriate, I feel. I believe that this is a private matter between him and Kiki. Also, I think he's a bit insecure at the attention that Kiki is getting. I mean, ever since Kiki gave birth to their son, her body has really transformed and she just seems more confident and she looks amazing. So I think she's getting more attention now than ever. And I wouldn't be surprised if she had other men trying to push up on her. So the competition is getting thick. And I think Darius is insecure about that. He's not comfortable with that at all. So he's definitely showing some of his insecurities in these tweets and he's allowed to feel how he feels, but address it privately, not publicly. Him going on a public platform to say all of this only blew up the situation even more. So I wanna get into some of the comments because people were going in on Darius. I was looking at the shade room and these were some of the comments. I will never understand a man who falls for a woman as she is only to try to change them later. The light that drew you in is the light that will attract others. It's a part of it. Conservative and traditional talking points from a man who's financially supported by his girlfriend, not wife, is comical. Men will always have the audacity. Mm. Any man that brings his issues online to the world needs to humble himself when judging others, especially the mother of his child who has never spoken down on him publicly. How embarrassing. A man of this house with all these traditional values but not paying the bills, had a baby before marriage, and sitting at home being a stay-at-home dad while his wife with the money can live it up. Oh, okay. He's starting to feed into the stigma of celebrities dating and their spouses airing their dirty laundry for the public, but then turn around and say, please respect our privacy. This was a clown move. Address her behind closed doors. Don't have her in public with this negativity when she's been glowing from motherhood. The man of the family protects in public and corrects in private. And since you haven't made her a wife, she doesn't have to consider your opinion on what she wears. 
Broadcasting your disappointment of your son's mother on social media is definitely the way to go. Why is every time a woman has her body out, she has to show it off to please other people? Why can't she just want to look good for herself? OT Genesis said, I F with Darius. I understand his point, but I wouldn't have said this. These women gonna eat him alive, LOL. <laughs> So those were just some of the comments and a lot of people had some very strong feelings about this. I will say what I said before. I do think this is a conversation that should have been kept private. I think Darius is entitled to feel how he feels, but I also agree with a lot of the other statements. I think that the conversation would be a little different if they were actually married, because I do think a husband has a right to have some type of say so in how his wife chooses to present herself. And this is not to say that he should be controlling towards her, but he definitely has some type of authority. And I think a wife should consider her husband's feelings and respect his wishes. That's what I feel, but that's not necessarily the case in this situation. Darius and Kiki have a child together, but they're not married. So there's only so much he could really say about Kiki and her decisions. I think he has a right to speak out on how she raises their child, but he doesn't really have a say so when it comes to how she dresses. And it's very interesting to me because not too long ago after she gave birth, he was very much okay with showing off her cheeks on his IG story. He wasn't thinking about protecting her image then. He did this for his own gratification, but now that she's out and about and getting attention from other people, it's a problem. And Kiki has always been getting attention, so this is nothing new, but I think he was especially triggered to see somebody like Usher serenading her. Moving on to the next topic, I wanna talk about the rapper Coyla Ray. Coyla Ray recently dropped her album, Koi and it only sold 10,000 units in the first week. So she sold 1,000 units less than she did with her debut album. Her debut album Trendsetter sold over 11,000 units in its first week. And this album had a lot of big features and several viral hits, which include songs like Blick Blick, Big Purr, Go Best Friend, My Twin and Them, No More Parties. And it still sold 11K in the first week. When I dropped my album April 9th, it sold supposedly, allegedly 11,000 copies the first week. And during that first week, everybody clowned me for it. I feel like my career was so bigger than me that people held me to a certain standard. You know, they looked at the 11K number, but they didn't look at all the, you know, the billboard charting or, you know, the nominations, even just breaking out on TikTok, one of being one of the first artists to actually do that. So. I just feel like, you know, nothing was good enough. Now, fast forward to Koi's latest album. You know, she had a chance to really prove herself and show that, okay, her sales can pick up. Her first album didn't do great initially, but it generated sales over time. And with this album, she was supposed to show some improvement, especially with her big hit players. Players went viral and peaked to number nine on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. The song streamed very well and it had several different remixes. And it also helped push her to being one of the most streamed female rappers on Spotify. But even with all of that success, her album still sold 10K in the first week. And I have to say that it is kind of a flop for her at this point because her stats and her sales are not lining up. She has gone on record bragging about her stats and saying how she's gonna have the biggest album and saying that she's a superstar. And you know, nothing is wrong with being confident, but you have to be realistic as well. And I don't think that realism has set in just yet because Koi seems to be making excuses. With the latest news about her album sales, Koi did repost a breakdown of why her first week sales don't matter. Basically the post highlights her stats in terms of streaming and how much she trends on social media. And it basically says that this should be the focus, not instant sales. And honestly, I have to disagree because Sales do matter. It's not the only thing that matters, but it does matter. And it kind of reflects how the audience is receiving the artist. You could have the right formula. You could have the trending song. You could even have the top selling hit. But if you haven't cultivated a fan base that's actually going to support your music, buy your album, or buy tickets to see you in concert, 
you're not doing the right thing. And I think Koi has put too much energy in trying to make a trendy hit song on TikTok and not enough energy into cultivating her fan base. I don't even know if she's really clear on who her audience is at this point. I think she just drops a single and crosses her fingers and hopes it goes viral, but she has to start doing things a little differently if she wants to get different results. Now, moving on, I wanna talk about Brie Runway because Brie Runway actually has an audience. She might not have the hit songs and the streaming number that Koi does, but she actually has people who are invested in her as an artist. And she could go on tour and do shows across the world and people will come out to see her. And that's a testament to how well she's been able to connect with her fan base. Unfortunately, Brie Runway does not have the support from the industry. And she recently announced that she's going independent because her label has not really been supporting her. She said, yes, there have been cuts along the way, but in no way am I here to bleed out to you all. But I do think it's important to share with you why I've been so uncharacteristically silent recently. I've decided to part ways with my label EMI Records Universal. I'm now independent. I feel it's the absolute best thing for my career right now. The system truly does have a way of wearing on you, especially as a young black woman, you are really up against it. Naturally or perhaps unnaturally, resources are capped for us or we have to fight a million times harder for them as well as having to fight 10 times harder for our spots. It's like all I've known is fight, fight, fight. I'm tired and for once I'm honoring that. Right now I'm spending time being delicate and loving to myself and I'm choosing to give myself rest and I'm really enjoying the space I'm in. I also don't wanna create music with that rat race mentality that artists in the system subconsciously develop and I no longer want any desperate agendas attached to my music. I want to reel it in and take it all back to the love of music. You can't really go wrong when your art is birthed this way. It's only greatness that will follow especially when you've always been destined for it. I deserve the best of me. And so do you guys. Give me a little second to put some life and color back into my process of creating. I love you all. Please just be patient with me. So Brie Runway is taking a break. Um, this is unfortunate. I really do like Brie Runway. I think she's super talented. I like her music. She carries a superstar energy about her and I know she has it in her, but it's tough. The industry is tough, especially for darker skinned black women. She basically said that the label really cuts budgeting when it comes to supporting black female artists. So a lot of times they have to get it out the mud and Brie Runway has been somebody who has really been getting it out the mud for a long time. I do wish her well as an independent artist. I actually think she would fare better going independent because Brie seems like the type who could take control of her career in that way. She knows how to take creative control. And like I said, she has an audience. She has people who will support her regardless. So I think she'll do fine as an independent artist, but it is unfortunate that she wasn't able to navigate through the system and really get the support that she needed from her label. But the labels don't really care about supporting their artists, especially black female artists. It is what it is, it's a sad truth, but I'm glad that Brie Runway is free and I hope she gets that time to reset and come back stronger than ever. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.